Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Nuggets trade proposal flips Michael Porter-led package for six-time NBA All-Star. With ramblings about Jimmy Butler's uncertain future in Miami getting louder, the Denver Nuggets could get into the mix as one of the potential landing spots for the six-time NBA All-Star. Bleacher reports Andy Bailey proposed a blockbuster trade idea that would form a new big three in Denver with Butler joining forces with three-time NBA MVP Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Denver Nuggets receive, Jimmy Butler and Alec Burks Miami Heat receive, Michael Porter Jr., Peyton Watson, Julian Strother, Zeke Naji, and a 2031 first-round pick swap this trade idea, according to Bailey, could at least be offered if both teams get off to a slow start and Butler becomes disgruntled in Miami. This proposed trade would hurt the Nuggets' depth, but Butler's star power and playoff-tested toughness would more than compensate for it. Bailey views Butler as the perfect fit next to Jokic, one of the best, if not the best passing big man in NBA history which would offset the loss of Porter's three-point shooting. Michael Porter Jr. is eight years younger than Butler, and losing his three-point shooting would be a very real concern. Denver just finished the 2023-24 campaign in 25th place in threes made. But there isn't a player in the world who'd be better at leveraging Butler's cutting and slashing than Jokic's. chess. The two-man game between those two would be unstoppable, giving the Nuggets another late-game option beyond the Jokic and Jamal Murray interplay, Bailey wrote. Butler has not played more than 64 games over the past three seasons, which irked Heat President Pat Riley. But Butler is a proven steady performer in the playoffs, which would have helped the Nuggets in the last playoffs. Having Butler and Murray as one of the two best clutch performers, the Nuggets couldn't be more equipped in the stacked Western Conference to avoid last season's Game 7 loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves in the Western Conference semifinals. Porter is coming off a disappointing finish to his fifth NBA season. The Nuggets' swingman's performance in their second-round loss was a stark contrast of his impressive outing in their first-round win over the Los Angeles Lakers. After punishing the Lakers with 22.8 points and 8.4 rebounds in the first round, Porter Jr. could not replicate it against the suffocating Minnesota Timberwolves defense which held him to just 11.3 points and 5.4 boards. There are a lot of things we could have done differently as a team, Porter told reporters after their Game 7 loss to the Timberwolves. But I know if I would have played my part, we would have won this series and I've got to live with that. While Porter did not want his personal problems to be an excuse for his poor performance, he admitted it was at the back of his mind. I'm not going to sit here and act like it wasn't a burden and I wasn't thinking about it all day every day, Porter said after the Nuggets' second-round exit. But that's still no excuse. I'm a better player than I played in this series. I'm a better shooter than I shot in this series. In the NBA, you have to be able to separate your off-the-court matters with your on-the-court play. Two of the Nuggets star's brothers were involved in scandals, John T. Porter was banned from the NBA for gambling violations, and Coben Porter was sentenced to six years in prison for the death of a 42-year-old woman in driving under the influence of alcohol crash last year. John T. Porter pleaded guilty on July 10 to a wire fraud conspiracy and was released on a $250,000 bond. Flash forever, Wade becomes first Miami Heat player to get own statue. The Miami Heat franchise is set to honor their most iconic captain, Flash Wade, with a tribute befitting a true legend, a statue of his figure to be unveiled this October, immortalizing his incredible legacy both in the NBA and defending the Stars and Stripes flag in FIBA competitions. The heat Wade bond isn't just a fleeting, shallow connection, it's a full-blown relationship. It's one that has already seen rings, good proof of this are the 2006, 2012, and 2013 seasons, all of which featured Wade as a key protagonist. Now, instead of another marriage ceremony, the Heat will celebrate him in a different way. On October 28, the iconic number 3 will be honored with a bronze statue. The unveiling promises to be a spectacle, complete with a musical performance by Miami's own rap legend, 
Rick Ross, a giant in the hip-hop scene. A date that will go down in heat history, Wade will be celebrated during a home game against the Detroit Pistons, reserved for those considered true titans of the sport. It's fair to say that he already has his jersey hanging high up in the pavilion, now Heat's chief, Pat Riley, has taken it upon himself to display it even better. The ceremony is set to be both emotional and epic, featuring appearances from former teammates who accompanied him on his heroic journey, both in the NBA and with Team USA, where he won two Olympic medals, bronze in 2004 and gold in 2008. Wade will address the crowd at halftime, while a series of tribute videos will showcase some of his most iconic moments on the court. The statue itself, crafted by renowned artists Omri Amrani and Oscar Leon, comes from the prestigious Rotblatt Amrani Studio, the same team that created Michael Jordan's iconic statue in Chicago and the monument honoring Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. With such a distinguished pedigree, the tribute to Wade reaches an even higher level. Wade needs no introduction to NBA fans. A 13-time All-Star and three-time NBA champion, he left an indelible mark over 15 seasons with the Heat. After spending his first 13 years in Miami, Wade briefly played for his hometown team, the Chicago Bulls, and later the Cleveland Cavaliers, but, like all legends, he returned home to Miami to conclude his career in 2019. Now, he will become the first Heat player to have his own statue outside the arena, an honor reserved for only the true immortals of sport. Wade's impact goes beyond titles and records. For Miami, he's a hero, a living legend, and a prodigal son. This statue will stand as an eternal reminder of a legacy that sparked the flame of a once-unknown franchise, transforming it into one of the most iconic teams in the Eastern Conference and in the entire league. Miami Heat set to sign 25-year-old former Villanova guard. The Miami Heat are making strategic moves to strengthen both their primary roster and that of their G League affiliates. On Thursday, the team signed and subsequently waived Bryson Warren and Malik Williams, aligning with their plan to bolster the Sioux Falls Sky Force. Both Warren and Williams are now in a position to earn in excess of $100,000 this season. And it looks like a former Villanova guard is next in line to sign an Exhibit 10 deal with the Heat. According to Ira Winderman in the South Florida Sun Sentinel, a similar move is expected in short order with Caleb Daniels. Daniels, a 6 feet 4 inches guard, spent last season with the Sky Force as well. He is 25 years old and played his college basketball at Villanova. He averaged 12.2 points, 5.0 rebounds, and 2.2 assists in 47 games for the Sky Force last season. His shooting touch and toughness are considered to be his standout attributes. He connected on 1.63 pointers per game while shooting 36.8% from deep. Should Daniels be signed and waived as expected, the Skyforce roster will feature plenty of Heat affiliated players, including Warren, Williams, and Daniels. These Exhibit 10 contracts are key tools for NBA teams, as they allow players to earn bonuses for sticking with the G League affiliate. For Miami, securing Daniels and other young talents continues their approach of developing players within their system while maintaining flexibility for the main roster. He is not expected to make an impact on the main roster though, and those are the kind of signings the fans are looking for right now after what has been an uneventful offseason for the most part. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Caleb Daniels? Leave your opinion in the comments.